Yeah, as the the most cross sectoral aspect of uh, creative industries is found in the fashion industry. I hope that uh, other speakers don't get insulted if they hear me say so. Collaboration as a theme, as an idea, as well the whole world to comment on experience of collaboration is totally senseless today. There is no point doing it because collaboration is what moves ideas, products, uh, trends uh, ahead. And I think uh, I wouldn't exaggerate too much if I said that collaboration is a revolution in design and marketing and in product presentation. Uh, this means uh, promoting products, history-rich products, and typically uh, collaboration is a condition of successful entry. So welcome to Creative Ukraine's Model 3 Fashion Module, and uh, I'll say a few words about our panel discussion let's unite uh, collaboration between ukrainian brands and uh, digital as a forward to our upcoming talk let me say that collaboration emerges where ideas are scarce or products are in short supply in order to try and classify this immense uh, galaxy of collaboration, I decided to break it down into two areas, collaboration related to product creation uh, and uh, product innovation, fashion and uh, people of arts, architecture, machine building, IT technologies, are all striking examples of how new products are born. Ideas and new products is what we are keen to uh, know more about. However, there is another aspect of collaboration. Brands tend to collaborate when they seek uh, new audiences. Uh, for me, collaborations, stories uh, engulfing and and inspiring in this world of information technologies, audience expansion, audio uh, swap, or uh, brand status change. That's uh, what I'd call another aspect or the other aspect of collaboration. Collab community collaboration, collaboration with show business, which is in fact today and generally deemed to be an effective tool are the topics we will touch upon in a while. However, now I'll only say that collaboration, first and foremost, is people, is about people and about brands that come together to create something new, whether it's uh, a blend merger, you may find some controversy, some disputes as to who's responsible for what, who owns what, and last but not least, how you make use of all best uh, outcomes of collaboration and product creation. Now, I am extremely happy to invite to join me at this podium and then yield the microphone to someone who is a top expert regarding legal aspects of creative industry, someone I hold in deep respect. 
Maxim, Maxim, uh, could you tell us a few words about the risks where legal aspects of collaboration are too vague or ill-defined? Я надеюсь, она будет не такая скучная, как предыдущие юридические лекции, где вы могли быть. Мы сегодня поговорим про коллаборации, как их правильно оформлять, потому что в целом все равно, если вы захотите что-то правильно сделать, вам понадобится юрист. А если вы все равно захотите как-то сэкономить на юристе, вам очень пригодится информация, которую вам обязательно нужна будет указать в договоре. Так, так, так. Uh, in agreement uh, that you are going uh, to draw to draw up. And uh, thank you very much that you found uh, some time today to attend uh, this lecture. Hopefully it will not be that uh, boring. I'm going to set up presentation on screen. I will start uh, uh, my uh, narrative on collaboration with a story that I like uh, so much. That's uh, experience of Adidas uh, company uh, that addressed uh, New York uh, minor brand. Um, uh, the uh, cooperation uh, was about uh, involving team uh, uh, from uh, basketball uh, players uh, that uh, college uh, had uh, um, on campus and uh, then uh, uh, through communication between the two they started uh, making clothes uh, and uh, promoting the clothes that they made uh, and uh, uh, New York uh, the New York uh, the New Yorker, that's a very little brand, uh, was eventually highlighted in an article that uh, was uh, suggested by one of uh, uh, the local artic uh, articles uh, published by a local newspaper. Uh, they depicted uh, their complicated success story of how to make it and reach success. Uh, later, they went to Adidas for commentary on how to choose uh, some brand uh, as a brand to play with and uh, why Adidas was uh, their choice. And uh, Adidas said that uh, they didn't have any official arrangement uh, underlying what they did. And uh, uh, as a result, uh, their conclusion was uh, that uh, their so-called partner produced fake uh, clothes and uh, eventually turned out that it was a sort of uh, some uh, fraud uh, that was subject to a court settlement. Uh, they claimed submission and uh, uh, the damage incurred uh, amounted uh, to 800 thousand American dollar. Uh, that was uh, the price of a reputational risk uh, and damage uh, resulted uh, in that. Uh, the court, as a result, uh, looked into uh, the consequences uh, and uh, the judge concluded that there was no underlying contract uh, for that. Uh, uh, the court uh, said uh, that uh, in uh, uh, the period of, uh, so to say, uh, blossoming collaboration, it's no way to do the way they did, uh, since uh, contract is a must for such sort of undertakings or any sort of uh, similar transactions. As it turned out, uh, finally, uh, the board changed, uh, and uh, uh, the people which uh, used to run uh, the office that produced uh, uh, fake uh, clothes, uh, as uh, it was proven later, left the company and there was nobody to accuse or to judge uh, with indictment. And uh, actually, uh, later it turned out uh, that Adidas uh, settled uh, uh, some uh, transactions uh, with uh, the company in question in New York and uh, uh, 
well, there was no proper proof for, for uh, the sort of transactions that they encountered. And I would like uh, to say that um, Adidas and uh, uh, New York most probably face some fraudulent and successful story, but uh, that is just a reminder that such sort of things do exist. And uh, in case of Adidas or with other partners or other sort of collaborations, we should keep it in mind that creativity is a new class for everything where there is an exchange or something new. Uh, when you set up something new or establish some brand, uh, it's uh, primarily about exchange of what you both have. And uh, speaking about uh, Morshinska and Pustavica, that is a story of collaboration where uh, two operators from two different segments united. And uh, uh, the following collaboration is uh, about Morshinska and its partners, so we are uh, they invited uh, some actors uh, uh, for advertising and participation in a music track. Uh, as you can see, uh, they can offer a very beautiful bottle of uh, water and uh, of a van and zoom to actors uh, which uh, voiced the messages and called upon buying this water and for the collaboration that is being expected for the moment. Uh, it's about uh, Alexei Kondrakov, Ukrainian artist uh, that uh, works currently uh, with Hugo Boss. So far, we do not have uh, a turnkey project closed between the two, but uh, yet uh, I have something uh, to illustrate the success story, and you can see it uh, on the screen. And now let's define what collaboration entails. Uh, primarily, it's not about money. That's about the purpose uh, you get integrated around. And uh, when uh, you can answer this question, your work will be much easier. Uh, when uh, there is an understanding on lawyer's part of what you do, the lawyer will be able to write into the contract between the two all the tenets uh, which uh, the both of you will need. Um, uh, sometimes collaboration is required uh, to improve our uh, brand's image. Uh, for instance, uh, there can be a case where you have a brand that is closely associated um, or with uh, some intention, for instance, when you want to be younger or more beautiful. Uh, in this case, collaboration will be an answer. And uh, when you want to attract uh, customers' attention on something, for instance, a uh, heritage brand uh, such as uh, Blueberry or LEVI, uh, they normally seek for new clients, and there will be an understanding that uh, uh, new clients will be there once there will be proper awareness campaign that uh, they are indeed uh, stylish. And uh, when uh, there is an intention to enter new markets and uh, when some brand uh, is after conquering new lands, uh, there is an intention to set up a collaboration with uh, the partners in the same segment in the target countries. And uh, uh, when uh, brands uh, intend uh, to penetrate uh, Asian market, uh, they look for the brands locally uh, for their collaboration to be successful. And another version of collaboration is to get uh, distribution, for instance, to go into the stores. And uh, today we will discuss uh, Western Ireland and their success stories. And, uh, Western Ireland intended to acquire their network of stores and uh, uh, they wanted to multiply their sales uh, this way. And uh, one of the most recent uh, examples is the resurrection of Fowl. And everyone who is older than I am and uh, everybody knows uh, me and uh, what I do. And uh, there was a resurrection of uh, Fowl, and uh, this means uh, that uh, we can get uh, the old uh, clothes, uh, your old rags from your wardrobes, uh, and uh, today it will be absolutely fashionable if you will wear what your grandma used to wear. When we speak about subject, uh, there are three uh, points to cover. Primarily, that's copyright, uh, trademark, and patents. Copyright. Uh, copyright uh, is a, a very popular notion. You might have heard about it so often. When you want to defend your copyright, you need to get united around it. 
uh, quite often it occurs uh, that uh, brands uh, need to get uh, united around uh, some subject matter. And quite often there is a sort of uh, colder attitude towards uh, your strategy of defending the copyright and uh, at times authors will get united uh, around one of the same idea. There is, for instance, um, an intention to get united around uh, one idea, but somebody uh, will uh, uh, contemplate how to blend uh, the upper white and uh, the lower black uh, and uh, for that it's necessary to agree on what you would like to see a subject of collaboration and uh, when you think over what is uh, protected by copyright there should be some understanding reached uh, that uh, the one who protects uh, the copyright is an author of uh, the subject uh, to copyright um, and this means uh, that there should be proof for that uh, and for what you're going to do as well uh, when uh, uh, there is uh, a need in uh, dealing with copyright there is also a necessity to register them uh, when an author has done something there is a need to get registered uh, this means so that when you protect something there is a need to check that somebody has already registered uh, uh, your work and uh, there is proper proof for that uh, and uh, what effort is required for collaboration uh, there are several options for that uh, uh, Taiwan, this is a sort of a scheme that entails work for hire where you will hire a designer uh, that uh, will make uh, under some uh, request a purchase order uh, some uh, uh, type of job to be done and then he will be paid for that. And uh, uh, finally, uh, his mission uh, will close uh, at that. Uh, and uh, when you would like uh, uh, with him, that will be more col complicated collaboration. And I would like to say that it's uh, a necessity to foresee all of the rights which will make collaboration successful, since uh, the rights uh, which you will not uh, set out in uh, the bilateral documents will not be subject to dispute. And uh, another thing is uh, sort of a real nation of rights. So this means so that when you sell something, that means so that you have reassigned the rights uh, for the subject matter and you appear to be a comprehensive owner, right owner for such a thing. Uh, when uh, you haven't yet acquired uh, the entire of such rights, uh, this means that uh, the term uh, for realign uh, reassignment of uh, uh, rights or realignment of your obligations uh, will be there. And uh, when you do not uh, put it into your contract that you enjoy the right to modify uh, primary, primary obligations and commitments as well as rights, so then you will not be able to change anything afterwards. So speaking about trademarks, primarily you need to understand that uh, the trademark has already been registered uh, since I can uh, fairly say it upfront uh, that uh, there are lots of uh, trademarks, uh, so to speak, uh, uh, which normally label th themselves as trademarks, but uh, finally they will not uh, be proven with the registries uh, that uh, are in force uh, for the moment uh, and uh, uh, for the contract uh, not to be void you will need a proper authority that will be legitimately recognized as such um, as the owner of a trademark and speaking about copyright uh, or for trademark, trademark can be shown on your t-shirt or elsewhere and quite often it occurs so that uh, there is a need to debate over that since at times so there will be some uh, uh, talk uh, on uh, uh, the reason uh, why you put it forward uh, your individual brand name or trademark and uh, then you allowed uh, another's uh, trademark to follow why did you take such a chain of steps? Why did you support such a consequence or sequence such a sequence of steps? And uh, now I have uh, uh, another question uh, regarding pictures uh, where they are going to be placed, uh, where they will be 
uh, in advertising campaign or will they be labeled on a package at times or when you do not uh, use trademark on the package or in advertising there can be a possibility of a trademarks breach and this is very bad and the back please expenditures uh-huh now here we are good and uh, we had uh, some passage on patents on the whole patents uh, resemble situation with trademarks primarily uh, we need uh, to remind uh, uh, that uh, patents have two types of patents normally uh, designers patent uh, is a, a mix of uh, uh, some designers work uh, that has been patented patented for instance so there can be some decoration or embroidery or some uh, icon or element in clothes in a piece of clothes uh, and uh, there can be a collaboration uh, some collaboration with some uh, trademark uh, uh, that uh, eventually resulted in their joint work that was patented and uh, the second thing to remember is uh, how you are going to split uh, responsibility for what you do the same is about my panditures uh, and uh, at times um, uh, for instance uh, uh, designers present a minor participant uh, of business while those uh, who will distribute them will take uh, uh, who will make the clothes and distribute the clothes so will take a major part of uh, the commitments undertaken under the arrangements and uh, the second uh, uh, thing also to keep in mind that uh, you should decide where you are going to promote and how you are going to uh, carry out advertising campaign let's assume that uh, you are over with your advertising campaign and uh, there's such a poor result for your advertising campaign and instead of 10 you have only one narrative and there is some uh, unrecognition or non-acceptance so there should be again some thought about what is to be done no price and distribution no. All of this advice uh, stems from experience and practice. The more you know, the better off you are. The more things you can agree upon, the fewer disputes you are to bump in in the future. Now, price and uh, form of distribution, you have to settle on prices pretty early best way to do that is to specify that in a, in your contract you have to discuss discounts are there going to be discounts and how big uh, they're going to be because prices is your profits if uh, say a party decides that uh, collaboration has gone wrong and it's best to offer some discounts it might offend the other party we don't do discounts we contributed so much into it that we'll never break even then you have to discuss where you're gonna well sell it distribute it if it's your own brand with a network of outlets Great. You can then specify who sells what and where. You can uh, refer to Instagram, to other sites. If you don't own a network of your outlets, you can specify which outlets uh, you're likely to distribute. If you don't like a, a shop, for instance, you may explicitly provide that your product is not going to be distributed through that outlet. Plus, you are advised to decide ahead where your, oh, where the surplus will go, because things happen and you may have questions afterwards so you have to decide right away whether you sell the surplus at a discount or do uh, sale or just destroy the inventory 
that has no market. Now, uh, to, to your pr profits, now that you have decided how you're going to spend something, you have to decide on how you going to profit on it, the returns. Work for hire is something that we've already discussed. A brand commissions a designer gets pays the money, that is fixed fee. Oh, license fee, that is, is when someone who lease the rights for a term, you sell something during this term and pay a fixed fee, no matter whether it was sold or not. Then comes what many people like, is royalty. Royalty is a percentage of your revenues from selling the product 50 to 50 60 40 90 to 10 often i am ask maxim look what kind of ratio we should specify it's a strange question because in practice you can have 50 to 50 50 or 33 to 67 Everybody is free to estimate how much he's going to contribute and how much he wants to to get. Um, the size always matters, you know. If, uh, say, LVA uh, wants to collaborate with a small brand, then the royalty isn't going to be that high. But if the brands are equal, uh, supreme to a minor, then the, the share is going to be 50-50. Or you can combine several methods, fixed plus royalty. Good thing if you want to stay on the safe side, if you represent a, a weaker brand, so to speak. In this case, you'll know how much you're going to get, and in case of a successful distribution, you'll get uh, an extra uh, or another option, royalty plus guaranteed. In Western contracts, uh, you're going to find that quite often the brand guarantees uh, some royalty and uh, this royalty is not going to be lower than X, uh, a very convenient thing, uh, especially if you want to be on the safe side. If this brand won't have a say in how much things are going to, products are going to be sold, uh, they can affect the price, uh, the, but they will get what they expect to have. Now, to, to something that people don't like talking uh, in the very beginning, but something that has to be talked about. Liabilities, uh, limitations uh, of, say, uh, both brands. Again, you are free to specify any exclusive uh, clauses. You may, for instance, specify that the other party shouldn't collaborate with your competition. You can specify the names or the sector where you act. For instance, uh, oftentimes when uh, two brands represent different uh, sectors and they want to retain exclusive, so to speak, rights in each of their domains and uh, the other brand won't uh, make deals for everyone. Distribution. Uh, if a brand owns a network of outlets, I mentioned Stone Island of Nike's. In this case, uh, 
Nike specified that the product uh, would be distributed only through its in-house network. No stone Nike uh, retained exclusive rights. Nike, as we understand, wants to maximize collaboration. Uh, yet again, you are advised to You will have to discuss uh, who's going to be responsible for the quality of the product. Typically, it's a manufacturer, but uh, if uh, the manufacturer and the seller are different entities, you have to understand what happens if things go wrong with the product. Uh, compensations, uh, corrections, production of improved quality products. Going back to IP, it is mandated. Well, before doing your checks uh, into the ownership rights, we have to make sure that nobody would uh, claim um, design or trademark uh, violations. Sometimes when two companies go into collaboration, one of the companies might have some dispute pending and then it'll then uh, spill over to to, to that collaboration. So you have to specify that uh, every party or rich each party is responsible for uh, the claims that might emerge outside of collaboration. This is basically internet it, but should you have any questions to ask, Drop me a line. Oh, yes, that's a very good question. What uh, may happen? Well, nothing new. Two brands use the existing trademarks of theirs, and then and, and they don't do anything new, anything novel. But uh, sometimes two brands may create a new collection that they uh, style as Creative Ukraine Forum. In this case, they can have uh, this uh, mark registered, knowing quite clearly who will hold the rights to this mark, either the parties or both parties. Uh, who would you say seek collaboration more often than not? Well, those who need it more would be my answer. Now I practice, well, based on my practice, I've been on both uh, sides. Morshinska, well, Morshinska is a better recognized brand, but they live in different worlds. And the situation I described, both brands uh, thought they would benefit. Morshinska and musicians, uh, uh, I think that Morshinskaya thought uh, they'd uh, benefit more. Musicians, I don't think that they perceived it as a need. All of one plus two, again, this is a symbiosis of two brands. On one hand, you have a, a department store. Uh, doing art seasons on an annual basis and would like to have their uh, windows decorated. And on the other hand, there's a world-renowned artist who wouldn't mind doing this design. So both parties or all the parties must have been equally interested or take 
Hugo Boss and Alexei Kondakov. Uh, in that situation, Boss approached him and uh, offered collaboration. He hadn't been looking for any in this situation, so Boss must have been keen to have this collaboration in spite of the fact that it's a super brand. Thank you. Further questions? Yes. Uh, or it uh, can be, uh, what, what do you mean, without uh, limited duration, for instance, conditional on the sell, uh, selling of the entire collection. Again, it's best to specify the um, circulation, the otherwise exclusivity may suffer. So typically, parties specify the circulation, the print run, so to speak, and if uh, it falls short of expectations, you can print more. Or, which doesn't happen that often, is collaboration made for a term, and a party can continue as long as they want. Say a license is for a year, and during that year you can print 300 uh, copies or whatever. If Thank you very much for your attention and for your questions. Uh, well, dear participants of the forum, once again, a round of applause to Maxim Popov. Uh, uh, the information he shared is probably even more valuable than what he thinks it is. Uh, I'm saying that because you tend to get questions regarding interaction of two brands, two creative personalities, and the mixes uh, vary in terms of the um, conditions that uh, they uh, live upon. So thanks again, Maxim, for your contribution. and. As I would especially like to thank you for letting us uh, understand uh, the system you can resort to in order to register this interaction within the framework of a single collaboration. Now, I suggest that we have a very short, like, 10-minute break, after which I hope you'll be back for our very interesting panel discussion. See you in 10.
Good afternoon, once again. Good afternoon to everyone who has joined uh, our module fashion. And uh, I'm glad uh, to welcome you to our forum, Creative Ukraine. I'm indeed uh, very delighted uh, that uh, Ukraine is uh, very creative and uh, Ukraine can be proud of uh, quite a lot of uh, talented people. Today you will discuss how talented people can unite. The word that I will mention today quite often will be collaboration. As I believe, collaboration is about a moment uh, to unite and necessity to collaborate. And uh, I guess that there is little doubt about the necessity to get integrated, uh, both of new people, new products and new services, and eventually both of new trends uh, altogether belongs uh, to the hands of those who are here ready to get uh, integrated, to unite and uh, collaborate. In the beginning, I said uh, that uh, uh, conventionally we can split collaboration when we talk about uh, uh, producing new commodities or new services on uh, some uh, innovations or creation of some products. You cannot uh, talk uh, about uh, any other type of collaboration when one gets about expanding target audiences or circulation of new ideas around you and uh, making bigger the environment uh, that you work in and uh, must probably play with. Uh, uh, the most important thing for that uh, to remember is uh, that the moment of uh, uh, collaboration is when everyone stands ready to get united uh, with your clients and uh, that deserves my separate uh, focus. Uh, and uh, uh, for that I would like uh, to invite uh, my uh, lady speakers, uh, friends and partners in the Ukrainian fashion industry where I would like to suggest uh, answering one general for everyone here question and uh, uh, I would like everyone uh, to share your presentations with us uh, and uh, it will be indeed a pleasure to hear insights uh, from the cases of the two are here uh, to present and then we will get back uh, to two three questions uh, attached uh, to the subject matter and most probably it will not be that comfortable uh, to make uh, too broad uh, the discussion that we hold uh, and with your kind permission for that I would like to revert to live uh, talks that were here after and uh, let's uh, uh, be more focused in our answers uh, and uh, let's uh, keep it in mind uh, that ideas are normally born in uh, uh, let's say a puzzle in a maze of ideas and um, yet I believe that uh, where the problem is born uh, where there's some acute situation uh, there will be some new interesting ideas uh, that will spring up and uh, for that again I would like uh, to address you with a question what is your feeling what is uh, the most interesting problem to be resolved uh, through collaboration as uh, the most uh, interesting to tackle. For that, I would like to come up with a number of options. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, let's take uh, uh, remote work where we have pessimism shared among uh, the people when people are unwilling to buy some luxury brands and uh, uh, fashion industry generally is uh, uh, luxury industry and uh, speaking about uh, fashion fashion does not allow any bright ideas uh, to make a breakthrough despite uh, the pressure that is being exercised on uh, fashion yet it uh, should do that uh, and let's start for that uh, with uh, Maria Masli uh, that is a founder of uh, Maria Marcella Maria Maslim uh, you are welcome 
Uh, hello everyone, thank you very much that you have joined us on such a cold autumn day. Uh, everything that you named before, what goes without saying, appears to be indeed very complicated um, to each brand. Um, and uh, uh, the issues that we face, among them uh, pace of uh, transformations and our ability to get adapted uh, to them tells uh, that uh, we are not yet uh, that capable, we do not yet stand ready to oppose uh, such transformations. And uh, we should remember that there is a, an urgent necessity to get accustomed uh, to Instagram uh, images, uh, cultural uh, changes, uh, pandemic uh, changes that the library is in. And, uh, uh, Collaboration as well as unexpected uh, solutions help us uh, to attract a client, a client that is uh, exhausted, uh, that is tired of uh, pessimism and holds uh, quite a lot of uh, data, who can be overloaded with information, in other words, uh, and I guess that this is uh, the biggest burden for everyone. Uh, Maria Bisikova, director of uh, the Central Oh, shopping mall in Kiev. Uh, all uh, the problems um, and above all uh, a topicality uh, appears to be uh, the cutest and uh, creativeness uh, among them uh, helps us uh, to create something new very fast uh, and uh, something to be uh, sold uh, easier against others. Uh, well, uh, in uh, COVID, uh, we all got closed uh, in Zoom in the central shopping mall and uh, through this exercise. We uh, expanded our e-commerce services and uh, this segment was uh, transformed uh, as a marketplace platform uh, that attracted new partners uh, and uh, we increased uh, uh, the range of services, commodities, and catered uh, to the needs of our clients and uh, on uh, the so-called parking uh, lot. Uh, we had uh, a number of slots uh, uh, for our customers uh, to enjoy. Uh, and uh, jointly with an architecture bureau, we designed proper infrastructure that uh, proved uh, that uh, each new challenge helps us uh, to create something new and uh, that does not impede us in uh, setting up uh, uh, new things uh, uh, to nurture the needs of clients. And uh, in collaboration with Sinsko, we also had a new initiative and that uh, also proved that uh, there is a wish to wrap it all up uh, with a nice presentation uh, to meet a client and uh, to tell a client uh, what we're here to offer. Then uh, with Cecil uh, in a lockdown, we jointly produced a new collection and then uh, uh, no matter that we lagged behind, we managed uh, to make it up uh, for uh, the uh, things that we might have lost along the way. And uh, we uh, produced uh, an amazing thing. And uh, through digitalization and uh, new digital instruments, uh, which uh, can absolutely find fit uh, the needs, uh, uh, help us uh, to fulfill ourselves online. And uh, ultimately, Either business, uh, either clients uh, will not uh, meet any obstacles uh, when uh, they are there to make a choice in their purchases. Uh, sometimes it happens uh, uh, when, um, uh, well, a client has some thought to buy something and you are there to offer it uh, upfront. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Katerina, for your input. And, uh, uh, well, what you say is a thing indeed, and uh, from the point of collaboration, I have an extensive experience. And uh, uh, I would like uh, uh, to explore uh, what uh, cases uh, and uh, the Ukrainian Fashion Week. Uh, without uh, going for I would like uh, uh, to ask you about one of the most burning problems uh, which uh, collaboration 
can resolve. Collaboration certainly can help uh, settle down all of the problems uh, which might uh, be encountered. Digitalization is a mandatory step and most probably it's a positive change uh, which you cannot uh, impact. Uh, uh, there is uh, no sense uh, to reject uh, uh, this uh, Disruption, and uh, I believe that I need to jump into uh, the digitalization uh, uh, car and uh, uh, promote uh, new trends in culture and fashion. For that, I would like uh, to remind you another clause that's very important. This is uh, all about values. In Ukraine, we face a problem with trust, uh, trust uh, to domestic production mainly no matter whether it goes about some commodity service. And uh, uh, this is, uh, for me, normally a cornerstone uh, for all time. And I believe that this is a moving driver that normally helps us uh, to create. Uh, in Ukraine, I would like to make the local uh, commodities uh, to compete uh, with the international counterparts. And this means that uh, multifold uh, users and clients uh, should be approached and when we get united we enforce our positions and uh, for that it's indeed very important to remember that uh, through collaboration we can strengthen ourselves uh, jointly and uh, we should uh, keep it in mind that we need uh, to enhance uh, collaboration and trust to our forces and uh, our uh, commodities and services help us uh, to flourish in collaboration. Well, you know, it was a big delight uh, to hear you, and uh, I guess uh, that everyone here will be indeed uh, pleased uh, to present uh, their success uh, stories uh, and interesting cases. Um, For that, I would like to concentrate uh, on the issue that I mentioned uh, just in the beginning. Now, and uh, for a long time ago, quality and creativity have long time ago stopped being a competitive advantage. And I do not mention it any longer. When there is a possibility to share a story and involve a client, explore your target audience, and uh, through inclusion, join them to the philosophy that we share through such uh, clients, we can ponder over a new collection and create it. Uh, and then. Uh, we can this way reach out to them and uh, uh, we can build up our uh, trust uh, and uh, uh, we will be able to hear their hearts and needs uh, and uh, I believe that uh, through these uh, steps we will be able to hear what they want. Please uh, set up presentation on screen. Uh, I'm uh, Maria, founder of Sustainable Social Room, and uh, I'm a founder of Marsala brand. And I would like uh, to share a few success stories uh, on Marsala brand. Uh, most probably, this is uh, one of our collaboration stories with Masha Yefrosinina. This is a charity project that uh, helped us raise one. 0.5 million Ukrainian grivna, and uh, this is a project one to four. Uh, we are uh, the foundation found it uh, important uh, to earn on a product uh, that they cannot uh, manufacture and they cannot sell it either. And uh, for us, we received media support. Uh, uh, from uh, uh, this role model, and uh, it's natural uh, that uh, this uh, campaign is indeed very strong. And uh, thanks uh, to that, uh, lives of uh, eight uh, standalone people, kids, uh, were saved. Uh, and uh, uh, this is absolutely precious, uh, uh, the result that we have achieved. <laughs> it was then that we turned from a 
shoe uh, brand and to a brand uh, that carries additional value, the brand uh, that creates uh, stories, stories relating to children. Uh, this is an example of our collaboration with Sava brand. Uh, in this uh, case, uh, we were given a chance to create uh, uh, jewelries. I myself had dreamed of um, doing jewelry, but in this case, we uh, designed footwear that visually resembled uh, their jewelries and so on started uh, selling designs that are mm, that were built upon my dreams by my well, thanks to Sava uh, we had a good coverage uh, in the outdoors as a small brand we wouldn't have uh, and done that uh, no matter how hard we tried uh, we did ads in the subways and many people learned about us uh, which they wouldn't have done uh, hadn't that been this collaboration this is for a love collaboration we did this collection of footwear maybe 18 to months to a year to two years ago we keep selling it uh, we use uh, classic uh, models that uh, are evergreen so to speak uh, we are updated them with for loves uh, decorum and uh, arrived at a very successful product. Uh, this is last year collaboration, charitable, with Yelena Pinchuk's foundation. Uh, in this case, we wanted to engage women uh, whose stories uh, moved us. We also use uh, the uh, rhyme of Isdrik and that was type of collaboration that uh, put us in touch with everyone including the poet and, and his poetry we had never had anything in common with the ladies we engaged in this collaboration none of them had been our ambassador before and the principal visual material in this collaboration was where uh, videos in which they share their fears and the ways they uh, overpowered them. Uh, we had worked uh, on this product for a long time and the response to this collaboration was quite unexpected. Hundreds of girls uh, uh, sent me letters uh, saying about their fears, of discussing their fears. This uh, bag, I, I'm still carrying it around. F for me, it was uh, a very emotion-loaded uh, project. This is Alexander Barbolin artist uh, collaboration we did uh, the times of pandemics. Uh, it was a digital talk book since uh, we couldn't uh, do shooting back then we uh, stayed uh, home most of the time and uh, through this collaboration we resolved the issue of uh, our visuals it uh, generated a very good response and the national media covered it as a uh, a uh, remarkable uh, example of uh, brand action at the time of uh, a pandemic. Uh, Sasha is a genius, if you ask me. We continue collaboration with him. Uh, yesterday, we launched uh, a new project, a joint project dedicated to the 
buildings and our community that uh, may be demolished uh, uh, in the future may uh, collapse. So this uh, Kiev's uh, legacy buildings that we'd like to uh, save and uh, support their further existence. We uh, aliken these architectural forms to the shoe wear we uh, do. And another case, uh, Donor UA and uh, Marketplace, uh, the originals. It brings together different people uh, for bright new products. Uh, uh, which uh, emphasizes the need and utility of uh, preserving things. Uh, we will make donations to the uh, blood bank at the Cancer Institute. And another, everyone who will donate things uh, to the platform would be able to specify the uh, share of uh, returns to be donated for charitable purposes. Gunya Project, Guzienko, Elena Manzuk, and a host of other uh, persons made their choice. It's a new ongoing project, uh, always open for new heroes, new characters. It's a slightly outdated deck. Uh, I invite you to visit our site to see further examples of our collaboration. Brilliant presentation, remarkable cases, and I think I know what you'll say in response to the answer I'm going to pose. Uh, scrolling through the news, uh, uh, on uh, world fashion, I myself uh, was astounded uh, at the number of news of collaboration in food and uh, f f uh, sure industry, and uh, I uh, thought that it was probably a very novel area of collaboration and probably it is because we all love to have uh, good shoes. Uh, Masha, uh, if I may, may I confront you with this? Personally, for you as a creative personality, uh, where do you see collaboration as most promising in terms of creating new design collaborations that grow from uh, uh, the need to improve the existing technologies or or social problems is the driving force behind it uh, every time you have uh, something new coming your way. Yeah, all these factors are important. Yes, we want to uh, show something to engage us with our client, but every every story should be a story tell a story. Storytelling generally is uh, the leading message because story a story demonstrates a message. So when we say that we created uh, uh, decorations from the kids' jewelry box uh, in order to help uh, Ukraine find ways to increase the number of blood donors. The currently available amount is only a third of what Ukraine needs. Uh, people interacting with this information identify the senses and probably uh, quite unaware uh, come under this uh, impression that we seek them to, to get, which is uh, very uh, 
uh, it, it is uh, priceless and and uh, definitely a priority in Russia. We uh, we haven't had uh, a, collab a case of collaboration with. Uh, shoe makers. I'd be happy to hear that this collaboration is being born right now. We have already started discussing it, but anyway, if you look back a year, we started a project with capsule collection, Ukrainian designers. Before that, we had been actively working with Ukrainian designers in business. Uh, businesses are used to uh, supporting others, following some patriotic messages, but I'm happy to uh, say that Ukrainian designers indeed have uh, are in demand, have market, and, and it's successful business after all. Come. Uh, visit us. Uh, the third uh, story is where we present over a hundred Ukrainian brands. They are also present online, and we are now witnessing how trust to Ukrainian brands is uh, evolving positively year in and year out. We uh, have been able to see that. Uh, brands uh, sh show a clear distinction between international brands and Ukrainian ones, domestic brands. So our uh, patrons often come by international brands and then in enhance them, reinforce with Ukrainian brands. It means that uh, uh, patrons uh, see no reason for which Ukrainian brands should be anyway different from international uh, brands. Uh, the checks come together and then the uh, consumers uh, seem to have lost uh, distrust they used to have before. Now, if you wanted me to refer to some cases, uh, last September we started Jewel uh, brand collaboration. It was the first capsule and it wasn't confined to visual only. Yes, we start a task force with a designer. We do brainstorms and uh, discussing the shooting aspects, uh, the promo zones, uh, visual merchandising support. All departments are involved in creating both offline and online room for a brand to highlight it in some special manner and it is duplicated in digital. After Jewel, we had a collaboration with Gunya brand. Uh, also, we wanted to build a calendar of capsules so as to match uh, the season and the seasonal demand. We did it first on the eve of the International Women's Day and uh, the advent of spring, the um, ceramics capsules were specifically created for us and you can only buy them if you visit us. Uh, Litkovska capsule was created during the lockdown. Uh, the capsule that was um, presented uh, before the lockdown and uh, uh, this one is uh, the one that was presented afterwards. Everyone was online and our need was uh, uh, to explore the behavior of our customers, uh, we wanted uh, feathers, uh, dresses, uh, and uh, what not. Uh, and uh, now uh, we suggest uh, watching video.
And this is a creative uh, brand uh, that was uh, created uh, jointly with the design bureau. And it's true, the designer didn't even uh, manage on time to produce all these dresses. Uh, and uh, um, all the time, clients had uh, permanent messages so that uh, Eva Evangelist uh, was, uh, well, a model. Uh, for our brand and apart from that another trend is to collaborate uh, with a uh, low uh, popularity for instance this brand so uh, where we can spot uh, some uh, potential and uh, they are there is no clear extent of understanding of how close of this collaboration can be and uh, where this uh, that brand is positioned, how they cooperate with one another and uh, uh, how uh, to make decisions and what is worth it to make a try with this or that uh, brand. Uh, and. Uh, here I would like to come up uh, with an experimental uh, project of five positions and uh, uh, collaboration that uh, was exemplified in summer and uh, that was presented in summer in uh, September. Stenoska collaboration, uh, Stimoska, everything what they like, everything uh, uh, what uh, they value. Uh, here you will see how all this uh, was translated into a joint project. And apart from that, owners of collections are uh, that where they are to present monthly have been planned until the end of the year. And we have uh, advanced uh, subscriptions for new collections. And we invited Lilia to make special uniform for personnel. And uh, here you will find, um, uh, well, uh, Lilia Litkovska's collection that absolutely hit all the records, so one of the top collections. And uh, here you'll see Instagram felt a special project. Uh, this is a primary video show of key leads. Um, most probably, um, we cannot uh, downscale the video here of key accessories uh, for cult images or uh, Instagram video. Make a try and see you in Zoom. Without leaving your home, you can try your iconic uh, cap from Ruslan uh, Bagivsky, earrings uh, of uh, uh, Bagema, and uh, uh, then um, Xenia Schneider's uh, accessories. And uh, people give us uh, the feedback. They can hear, they can watch. And uh, for that, we would not uh, act dwelling on form. And for us, uh, one of uh, the most prominent uh, projects is uh, dedication of brand. Uh, uh, to the central shopping mall and uh, Evgenia Frolova and uh, Mr. Flipchuk and Valeria Kowalska accessories a new line. That was a very important period. And all that uh, was uh, created uh, with a signature. We are proud uh, uh, to the day of independence of Ukraine. Uh, of This is uh, True, you know, this is a joint uh, love story, love story that uh, never was left uh, unattended, uh, attended love. Uh, this is a tradition that each fall uh, we invite uh, Ukrainian artists uh, to decorate or uh, window uh, shops uh, in uh, stores, uh, Vadim uh, 
Sterling and uh, yesterday it was of uh, Demonikov and uh, Yuri Savchev uh, where they presented uh, uh, the uh, works and print special patterns uh, we developed for packages of the central shopping mall called Zoom where each client uh, can get uh, special packages decorated uh, by a pic or with a picture of an artist. Uh, with a QR code uh, that proves a uh, joint collaboration, where QR code uh, can be codes can be read and uh, live uh, will be given to them in this framework, um, and uh, we also provide support to the festival. Where after developing strategy, collaboration will be a standalone component of joint to work. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to hear you. For everyone and me personally, a very brief question now that comes logical. After such a beautiful and complete uh, presentation of everything what you do, there is yet a huge uh, retail niche. And uh, what is your priority line? And then uh, what uh, will remain your priority? Which priorities are the names uh, which are presented? Uh, are your favorite? Your work uh, with clients, your special services, everything? Uh, no, know what you know. Absolutely excellent cases and uh, your orders, uh, etc. Or uh, will you hold a deal? to share your personal story. Most probably that yet started with a prominent book, some famous work, uh, most probably continuing collaboration with Ukrainian artists. Uh, how well you describe that? Uh, it's not very hard uh, uh, to find uh, a proper words for that. Uh, multitasking and uh, preserving of heritage. We remember history and uh, we keep it in our minds uh, for our generations to know what uh, our epoch means and um, the book or video which can be bought uh, in stores uh, and uh, through e-commerce, uh, then uh, direct delivery of international and in, in the Ukrainian brands. Jointly uh, with the transformation of uh, soft versus uh, hard copies of uh, documents. Give us a hope uh, that once uh, we diversify our focuses will succeed. You cannot close your eyes um, on the bad, uh, on some bad service. You cannot complain when you get the package with a beautiful picture. Everything should be balanced. All the directions uh, should be developed. And the seasonal collections uh, should be updated. And uh, I believe that everything uh, should be brought into life even further on. And uh, there must be more new people. And there is a huge work for of us, too. And uh, I wish you huge success in your initiatives. And uh, Ukrainian Fashion Week, that's a festival that is held annually. And um, I believe that uh, some uh, collaboration at the central shopping mall will be interesting and uh, more exciting. Uh, Kate, uh, we know each other for so long and thank you very much for joining to work uh, and uh, Ukrainian fashion uh, Geek uh, that is uh, a model that you created, uh, and uh, that's indeed um, surprising. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, new motto. And uh, um, 
let's keep it secret. And now I will unveil the secrecy. Uh, well, I have been your long-term client, in fact, you know, and I'm proud of it, hugely. Uh, hello, everyone. Katarina Bekova, designer of a Finch brand. We have created uh, the brand uh, jointly with uh, my husband as of uh, 2012. Uh, we have been working together. Maxi is uh, equal partner in everything. Uh, what I do, let me show you how remotely we work. Mm -hmm. A remote control device works perfectly now. Okay, good. After zipping uh, channels, I get convinced uh, that everything's fine. We are all settled. We are all done. And uh, Finch Art uh, is uh, the art uh, that handles uh, creation of new technologies for Instagram. We are all started. Uh, we all started uh, now with um, the lights and uh, apart from that we have a uh, collaboration with the ukrainian fashion week uh, and uh, uh, i am as a blogger uh, who the ukrainian fashion week knows quite well have come up uh, with the ukrainian fashion G geek or geek or that is um, a person uh, that is a fan of everything he does uh, or that gets absolutely crazy about uh, what uh, he or she have uh, he or she has on uh, his plate and uh, uh -huh, now let me see what we have here please uh, shift to the second slide slide two I have a presentation for 25 slides and a lot. Of the following slide afterwards. Yes, that's it. What it shows uh, our first collaboration we did with uh, augmented reality. Uh, well, I'll just ask you to progress through the slides on my prompt. Uh, long story short, uh, matter of principles, there are three areas we are active, uh, cooperation and collaboration with artists, with uh, collaboration with AR Studio uh, Face Me, uh, in any collaboration we produce merch for companies, concepts for companies, and generally we design clothing attire for other brands. Uh, I think I have a uh, Brilliant visuals for this presentation. I, it'd be a pity if nobody could see it. Before the pandemics in 2019, we wanted to test uh, AR filters uh, for the purpose of presenting one of the prints we had at our collection. And the filter was a hit, uh, 100,000 contacts within, week, within one week, uh, in spite of uh, uh, $30 budget we spent on its promotion and we came to realize that AR technology, augmented reality could come in very handy when you work with products. Uh, face me uh, seemed to got interested and in 2020 we started using AR technology not just to present existing products but to create new ones where AR is integrated with in order to visualize physical product uh, adding uh, virtual impl implementation to them is it working? Okay. Uh, why you can ask we are doing that and why we've uh, 
elected this area as a small brand it is uh, difficult uh, to attract attention against the backdrop of uh, this great uh, flow of information unless you can find some uh, chips and collaboration is something that helps you take a fresh look at uh, the existing products when you work with a new team and especially when you collaborate with a number of teams uh, the one we uh, presented at the latest Ukrainian Fashion Week something that you can try on using augmented reality uh, this collaboration uh, is a collaboration between Facemir and 12 other artists uh, each of whom uh, contributed their work uh, to be made into prints. In this uh, cocktail, uh, you can produce absolutely new things or redefine the existing ones. This is why it's so important to do a project a year with someone new and for us, uh, it is a Face Me AR clothing collection in collaboration with artists. Uh, while we're still experiencing problems with uh, the slides, I'll try and tell you how AR is different from just uh, traditional collections. Uh, this slide shows you a real product digitized uh, using a life-size scanner. To the right, you see a 3D uh, pic of a real person embedded in a virtual space uh, Tokyo supermarket using an Instagram filter. Everyone uh, seemed to have uh, Instagram, an account on Instagram, so uh, this uh, is one of the important uh, tasks for me, a challenge, uh, if I may, that we constantly use in order to develop uh, what we have for everyone, something that uh, au couture is uh, missing, uh, trying to retain a distance between a gap between uh, that fashion and ordinary person. You may psychologically be not prepared to spend so much, or you like what you see, but you don't think that uh, they'll uh, be becoming uh, for you, in order to be able to work with people who potentially may become your clients or at least uh, disseminate your culture and help you develop, is who we create these products. Next slide, please. Next slide or slides. This is one of the previous ones. Uh, this is collaboration with Mariana Hollenstein, who physically, well, doesn't matter. Uh, during pandemics, she stayed uh, home at Ulm and uh, she was using a digital pen uh, to, uh, and a and beamer to paint our collections, uh, collaborations uh, like that uh, work just fine without even letting others know that uh, they may sometimes be on different ends of the world. It's, a, it's so great that collaboration can sometimes uh, help continents come together. In 2020, we moved, we shifted our focus on on digital and we started spending increasingly more time on it but it all started from us working with artists separately today we are working with artists and 
representatives of tech industry at the same time. Can we have my next slide? This is an image of the current collection. This year, for your information, this September, we launched uh, a collection. No, let's start from the very beginning. In February 2020, we launched our first collection, created, well, digitized using AR. Uh, we could present it using AR. Real things can't, uh, and then, uh, change modified using AR filters. Uh, I can say we wanted uh, to place it at Instagram. Rather, we wanted to engage with the viewers and make them co-authors, co-creators of this product. To this end, we uh, wanted to make every user a participant of a fashion show. Uh, so, uh, helped by 12 artists, uh, Vladimir Butnikov, Mariana uh, Hollenstein, Regiana Ishi from Tokyo, and of course, uh, I have a lot of Ukrainian artists uh, who created prints that we used to uh, generate new looks uh, and in Finch uh, VR you can apply this filter uh, changing the face of a model of well substitute your face for the, that of, of the model it's a dynamic process uh, why because you can really try on something well a man can try on a feminine look or you can try on different hairstyles it's part of gamification but pretty immersive uh, helping bring a run of the mill consumer to luxury product and this is something we're pursuing currently and another thing uh, is our using AR uh, for creating uh, collections of attire you scan a QR code uh, and then apply a filter to change your look. Either the clothing is changed or the filter is enabled, everything is moving and it indeed uh, changes the entire paradigm in which you uh, consume clothing. We communicate with people in digital space. We are represented in digital more than elsewhere. So. If someone is watching you uh, wear that clothing with uh, AR effects, uh, he does not. Uh, he's not aware of, of that. We've now done a collaboration, in, including with uh, international artists who created prints for this collection. It can be found on fiction.com. Uh, site. This is uh, the area that I think we have successfully taken our bearings in. Nobody in Ukraine has uh, uh, tried it yet. We want to um, set up a market, uh, generate competition, because competition is what uh, energizes you and is a growth point after all. So. We are here to blaze this trail and create a space where people could express themselves better if they are artists. Or if uh, you are a fashion designer, you can create digital uh, items anyone can try on in order to change his image anywhere, anytime, home or vacationing abroad. If there are other slides we can demonstrate? No. All right, then. I'm sorry to say my presentation failed in some respects, but I hope my message uh, 
came through. It's uh, uh, well, it's a very good way to present when you can follow the logic. I uh, actually had uh, other questions up my sleeve, but. Uh, I don't dare keep you waiting for too long. Uh, anyway, let me ask you one last, one final question. Uh, in a matter of a speech, uh, wrapping our today's discussion up. Fashion is, well, unquestionably cross-sectoral, interdisciplinary as a product, and I think that we've uh, proven that uh, in excess with our live stories and our cases. But anyway, let me ask you this. Uh, those who uh, go into collaboration, who initiate collaboration, do we uh, feel uh, the pulse, uh, as it were? in marketing and media, what's your feeling, those uh, cases of collaboration you recalled here? Could you somehow generalize them and uh, point to a number of uh, trends uh, as being general ones? Could we start with you, Maria? Well, I think uh, I think uh, that uh, one of major uh, trends is using innovation and uh, uh, using complex technical uh, possibilities. That's something uh, that has a big future. And on the other hand, it's. Well, social uh, projects in our country, I think there's a lot of them, and uh, they have uh, loyal and uh, trustful clientele. It's not just a habit, a good habit, but a very good example of communication with clients. I agree. Uh, we all are moving to digital, to digitizing, to uh, utilizing AR technologies. Finch is doing that. Us, uh, we do. A company is now developing a loyalty program for us, and it be uh, plentiful in gamification, digital attire, uh, building your own character. Services and products have to be custom made, unique, uh, tailor made to fit uh, every single client's uh, demands and expectations. Everything which is in of limited accessibility will generate higher demand for companies, for brands, it is worth moving away from secondary ideas into the uh, own creation. Fully subscribe to what has been said, and will only add that practically in every industry you'll uh, distinguish uh, an increased interest to creative uh, occupations. I always uh, regretted that our system of education was uh, not, could not match uh, people's interests. Uh, as an artist, it was very difficult for me to express myself. What is happening between businesses, uh, artists, creators is indeed uh, Massively cool projects that built upon uh, something else than exploitation of artists. It's like win-win uh, situations multiplied across the sector. As a creator, you discover new resources, uh, you explore them. What I uh, perceive. Uh, 
in creative industries, well, unrestricted freedom of expression. It's the understanding that you can monetize your your endeavor. It, it is cool. And, and another thing, we tend to, to enjoy greater freedom in the world of business startups. We can change ourselves uh, seamlessly, understanding you don't have to stick to your old guns and create something new. It's the new norm uh, that emerged out of collaboration, exploration of something new uh, becoming multi faceted expert, not the one you used to see in Soviet times. It's a plurifunctional personality that can embrace uh, a host of different areas. And I think that uh, this will be the trend for the years to come, benefiting all of us. Thanks uh, to everyone. And let me just uh, emphasize uh, the pace at which the world is moving towards new digital technologies to the world when manual effort uh, is valued. We are a country where this manual effort has always been uh, prominent. Uh, Gunya's brand message is uh, to my liking because they say this is something that you um, can do and you can monetize uh, no matter how traditional it looks. We are, we are uh, uh, fleeing this location because of the rain, but let me just also add that collaboration is something that creates communities. Uh, so let us build communities uh, and work together.